welcome. My name is James. I'm Matt. You're the Broken Game Brothers, and I might be curious why I'm doing the introduction. Well, there's a secret here right now. After Fina joins your party, and you get to see Cupel, the introduction sequence actually changes. As you'll see in just a second. And there's Cupol! Okay, that's pretty much all that's changed. <laughs> well, we'll see the rest of it. This blowing shit up is awesome. Alright, uh, we'll uh, see you just a second. Uh, I went ahead and I saved the game. Anyways, <laughs> you need to know that. Uh, today we are heading off into the wilds of Nasser Kingdom! But before we actually go to Nasser Kingdom, there are some discoveries we're going to want to get on the way there. Well, actually, when we're there. I lied. Never mind. <laughs> We've already been in Nasser Kingdom. But the part that we went to is a part we can't technically go to. Uh, the Nasser Kingdom, only country in the world that have more than one city. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Okay, so. We're on the other side of a cup sink, goddamn it all. Uh -huh. Urgh. Yeah, it's a desert, you think? First time seeing actually seeing one. Not you mention it, I've heard Sarah's talking about them too. So Ica has the wildest imagination ever, I swear. So the nasty deserts are so hot, if you walk in the sun too long, your hair catches on fire! Oh dear god, we're gonna die. Apparently. Everyone carries buckets of water around with them so they can put out the hair friends there. Wow, I guess. <laughs> really? Pay attention, kid. Oh. Oh, come on, Ika. You don't actually believe those crazy stories. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in your head. In that head of yours. I do, too. But, but, but. <laughs> when your head bursts into flames. <laughs> your brain's gonna get fried. <laughs> Because of that silly glass eye thing. Great deal of heat, it's too hot for my friends to drive. Those are not sure if you're used to a barren wasteland. Well, that's I kind see. of there is a bunch down there besides the sand rock. Red moon crystals should be somewhere in the desert, right? Oh, that's bad. That's right! <laughs> They're deeper than ancient temple of Pirate. Pirate. Ancient temple? <gasps> but there we all got the treasure! They have some gold and gems and magic stuff and nice clothes. And some clothes. And You're such stop. a girl, Ica! 
a bunch of treasure, you'll be rich! Later for what? It's the first thing you need buy for you. Buy? Um, you know, things. What does that mean? Oh, really? What? What? I dare, I'm sorry, I never uh. seen the rest of the world before. I you need to look very far to find a shop. They're gonna buy stuff. It's horrible. Wow, her face got pink. <laughs> she don't get out much, do you? <laughs> Where in the map, there's a city nearby called Maramba. Let's go there first. I'm too old. I'm too old for ish. Damn kids. Damn okay. We're not going to Maramba. We're going what? to this merchant ship. Master merchant ship, yes, uh, There is some. Uh, somewhere around here, there is some discoveries. First, there is this. The Wandering Lake. The truth behind the story of the disappearing lake is even stronger. Temperature differences make a large bowl of rock flooded with the desert sands, holding a lake of clear water. Once the water cools off, it settles downward again. Here we have a ship battle. This is a ship battle. This is an optional ship battle. These guys will show up all around the world. Uh, they will respawn every time you enter a town and come back out. You, if you want 100% title, you're supposed. You actually have to fight these guys seven times. So off screen, I'm actually just going to enter a town and come back and fight this guy seven times. <laughs> they have the very generic name of Black Pirates. So we are. So I'll show you one battle. I mean, but. Honestly, when you see one, you see them all, but just for hell though, we'll show you this one battle so you can see what's going on. Uh, I might, actually, you know what? Here's one battle. We'll show you what a. Uh, second, never mind. We're not going to show you a second there again. I lied. In the next turn, I'll show you what a secondary cannon does so you know what's up. The secondary cannons are actually some of my favorite weapons. as far as ship weapons go. Go, go, go. Yeah, they look Done yet? No. <laughs> Alright. Bring to their cannons. Stand and fight, bitch! Okay. That was a bad decision. Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> so, secondary cannon. Our first secondary cannon we get in the game is called a breach cannon. What you do is you set it and then you set how long you want to fire for. Uh, I believe. The, this first cannon that we have can only fire for two turns. Later on, we get one second fire for full four turns. But they're still really nice because what you this allows you to multitask on turns. So, for instance, on my second turn, I'm going to fire both a secondary cannon and a main cannon at the same time, doing more, even more damage at once. Very nice. Obviously, the more secondary cannons you have, the more you do. Uh, the problem with secondary cannons is that for every turn you, you're using them on, they do consume uh, SP. So, for instance, even though this, this it says it only requires 2 SP to use, that's for that's 2 SP per turn. So, the Vice is actually going to be using a total of 4 SP during the course of the battle, because he's using it in the secondary cannon twice. Uh, I decided I don't want to fire that cannon. I would rather fire it. Fire the cannon! Boom, bitch!
Sometimes those ship battles will give you some ship items. Uh, not always, um, Here we have another discovery. The Temple of Pirate. Hey, isn't that the place we're looking for anyways? Stone building thought to have been created by an ancient dynasty. The stone brick construction demonstrated a high level of technology for that period, but no clues are left that point to the purpose behind these huge creations. Vice, this is it! This is where the Red Moon Crystal is buried. Great! Let's land the ship and search the place right away. Truck was like, no. <laughs> like, no! Great boy! Head. Head. Son, great boy, head to the town first. I've got some things I need to take care of. There's a port city named Maramba near here. Get there first, got it? Go there first. Um, sure. No problem. I just thought that we could, um. Never mind. It doesn't matter to me. Bitch. Alright, uh, there is one more I believe we're looking for. Uh, let's see here. By the way, blue magic has the chance of inflicting the sleep stats effect. Just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, well, it happened in the Actually, it's triple's content. Sand falls. 
Long ago, a young black pirate searched the desert for the isle that spouts treasure. After a long trek, he was shocked to find that it produced only sand. But he realized that the desert was the true treasure and spent the rest of his years in Nasser. Aww, isn't that a touching story? Found top of rock, finally. That's it. This is, so this is the formation that uh, that Domingo kid was trying to look for. An actual formation of three rocks stacked on top of each other and perfectly balanced. The balance seems delicate, especially when the rocks sway in the wind. But for some reason, they have never toppled. That's interesting. Anyways, rudely in a ah! Here we have the fatigue uh, side effect. That just makes it so it slows your SP recovery rate. It's kind of annoying. Oh my god, that was just a cheap ass fucking battle. Okay, somewhere around here there is a discovery. That God, are you kidding? God, it's a back attack. Oh, here we have a loopalon. It's just a red recolor of a looper. Obviously uses magic with the red element. As I was saying, there is a discovery around here somewhere, I swear. And I will find the little bugger. If I can complete a thought without a goddamn... Okay, maybe it's not over here. Discovery. There it is! Found the star sand. In northern Nazar, there once was a desert filled with sand that would sparkle even in the dark of the night. But slowly their sparkle faded. But legend has it that someone saved some of the sand in a giant bottle and hid it over the, hid it for the centuries. Cool, I guess. There's still one last discovery I want to find. I'll cut around until I find it. Cole Alice, by the way, doesn't always call the same enemy. It can sometimes call different enemies. Finally! As shipbuilding developed and flight distances grew, the oasis in the middle of the desert lost some of its importance to travelers. But it is still critical to caravans on land routes and it remains lively as a center for trade and information. Jeebus crosses are fucking forever. Oh, vey! Now we're going back to Maramba. This time for real, and I'm actually gonna go in there. Really? 
Okay, turn to burn the metals. Okay, here we are. This is Maramba. We're actually not going to visit it right now. Uh, we'll go in there next time. Because once I go in there, it's going to be a really long cutscene. It's going to be really annoying. Uh, my name is James. And I'm Matt. Together with the Broken Game Brothers. Uh, if you like to see all these subscribe to your videos, just like button on the screen. We'll see you guys next time.